What's up guys? Welcome back to Nolan Built Woodshop, where today you'll be watching me build a 10 foot triple trestle table base that's gonna be for a 12 foot solid eight quarter ash tabletop. So in order to see the tabletop get built, you have to stay tuned for the next video, but today you'll be seeing the base get built. Let's get to it. Here we are starting out at the miter saw where I break down all of my rough lumber to rough dimensions, making sure to leave extra so I can go through the milling process and have enough to cut down to final dimensions. Now I'm at the joiner where I'll face joint one side of each board and now we will flatten the other side of each board by running it through the planer. Then we go to the table saw where we cut everything to a rough dimension before we uh, do the final glue up. And there we have it, all of our rough cut boards for the center stretchers. All right, now we're doing the glue up of the center stretchers. I have a spacer of five inches already preset for the middle and I am pin nailing the middle pieces in between the two pieces and as you notice I do not pin nail the outside that's because these are going to get ran back to the planer the final dimension all right now we're going back to the miter saw where I will rough cut uh, my board for the top and the bottom stretcher where I will run back through the milling process and do uh, another set of glue up for this uh, process. The difference between this time and last time is I will only be space joining one side of each door. That is because I'm going to glue the two sides that are flat together and uh, it will be milled square after they're glued together. This is to save on uh, material thickness. Alright, back to the glue process. Uh, using my Rockler glue spreader to spread this glue out, make a quick work of it. And I'm going to be uh, clamping this guy down with some uh, Bessie clamps if I'm not mistaken and a couple of other ones in there as well but uh, as you will see I quickly ran out of clamps they always say you can never have too many well I need some more so in order to get the rest of the glue up done I uh, changed the change the clamps up glued up all of them at one time and then I moved over to my Taylor clamp rack system and glue all of them up at one time. So you'll see uh, there's I'm putting them up there in twos. So basically the twos are have one seam in it in each one, and then there are other ones that have no glue on it so that they do not stick together. So during this process, I will be able to glue up multiple uh pieces at one time versus uh doing them individually it saves uh time and space and plant all right now it's time to mill everything to its final thickness and width um this will be the final passes that i'll make and then i will cut everything to suit for final assembly. So right now I'm running the center stretchers to the planer and now I'm going to be running the bottom and the top stretchers to the planer. Moving over to the miter saw. Cutting everything to final dimensions. Now 
As you can see here, I set up a stop block to make everything quick, accurate, and easy. And there we have it. Everything is cut and ready for assembly. Now I mark out my radius for the bottom stretchers. And I'll move over to the bandsaw to cut these out. I didn't quite have the right size bandsaw blade, so I had to cut this uh, not in one pass but in multiple chunks. Then I used my Fest Tool Rotex 150 to smooth everything out. In Rotex mode, this, this was pretty quick. Alright, now to cut the bottom feet. Cutting this at a 45 degree angle. And now to glue up these feet to the bottom. Alright, now I'm ready to glue the tops and bottoms to the center stretchers. Later on, after glue is dry, I will come back and drill in dowels to secure these more permanently. But for now, glue is enough. These are the X braces that will go on the the triple trestle. This is what makes the trestle. This is the the part that makes the whole design. So here I'm using glue and pin nails to secure each one. These are not structural. They're just uh, for aesthetic reasons. And here you see me adding the uh, center dowels in. Now, I am putting in the leveling feet in the bottom of the table, and I always make them recess just in case they don't need it at all, and you don't want to see the table hovering off the ground. Now I move over to the bandsaw to cut out the mortises for the pin and stretchers that will go the long direction of the table. And the one that overlaps in the center will be a lap joint. Now to cut a bevel for the piece that will come through each end. And there we have it. The pieces coming through the end. And there's the lap joint. Nice snug fit. Now I'm drilling some pocket holes for the top braces. And here's the final assembly of the table base. This is a triple trestle table base measuring 10 feet long and 40 inches wide. The final dimensions of the table will be 12 feet by 55 inch wide top made out of solid 8 quarter ash. But you have to stay tuned for the next video to see that come together. All right, guys, just want to say thank you for tuning in, for watching me build that table base. And uh, if you want to come see the next one, hit that subscribe button. Uh, turn on the button for your notifications and uh, stay tuned for the table top built and the final assembly and possibly the delivery of the table. So just want to say thank you. Feel free to subscribe, leave comments, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.